Egypt is currently constructing a city called Galala City. Hello Distorius, welcome to another informative video presented to you by Displore and thanks for watching. Egypt should be officially called the land of new cities. Still on the inspiring mission of completing its new capital city amidst other groundbreaking projects, such as its massive museum, Egypt is now on the hunt for another new city, called Galala City. New Galala, officially New Galala City, is a planned city in northwest Egypt, which will lie on the northern Galala Plateau on the western side of the Gulf of Suez. The city represents one of the several ambitious urban development projects of the government, with the help of which the problem of the congestion of the existing cities is to be solved. The city will include luxury, medium and middle income housing, touristic resorts, a water park, a phosphate fertilizers factory, and a university called Galala University. The city will also include Egypt's first Olympic village. Construction of the city started in 2015 and will be implemented in three phases. The city will be connected to Cairo and other locations by a newly built highway. With several projects at hand and given the magnitude of them all, the miracle of completion is the bone of intrigue here. Hence, in this video, we shall carefully examine what this city entails, budget and resources. But first, if you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. The new city of Galala is located on the highest Mount Plateau in the Red Sea area, between Ain Sokna and Zafarana, and the plateau sits over 650 meters above sea level at its highest elevation. The new city is one of the government's national efforts to develop the vast and empty eastern desert to solve Cairo's population congestion and create work and living opportunities for the youth in addition to generating investment opportunities. The project will also contribute to achieving development in Egypt by creating new integrated urban communities on high international standards. City of Galala is located on 17,000 acres on top of the highest Mount Plateau in the area across the Gulf of Suez. The new city centers on a balanced approach towards development and preservation of the surrounding pristine environment. The master plan and detailed master planning focus on developing a sustainable, dynamic, mixed-use area based on a framework of land use, public land transportation, new road systems, and public spaces that integrate the existing ecological conditions. The first phase released out of three covers an area of 2,050 acres, consisting of various activities, which include residential areas with the most desired moderately priced units, commercial, touristic villages, cultural, medical, educational, and religious facilities. All these entities are directly connected to the project's public arena, where you find the convention center and the city's major mosque, positioned at the project's highest point. Sites International is responsible for the entire internal infrastructure, which includes sewage and irrigation treatment plants, location identification for enormous water tanks, and solar lighting preparations for use in public spaces. Most breathtaking is the design for the 6km walkway by the edge of the plateau, with a steep drop of 200 meters. The promenade includes vintage points of the Gulf of Suez and surrounding plateaus, a bike track, a collection of cafes, restaurants, pedestrian paths, and shaded sitting areas, in addition to offering captivating vistas for the surrounding residential and tourist villages. A cable car is planned for quick access between the city and shoreline communities. Riders will enjoy the scenic ride up and down the steep elevation within a serene atmosphere. The city's architectural design character is consistent with a distinctive coastal mountain nature. The building materials will be from the Red Sea area quarries and landscape planting will be true to sustainable environment. Indigenous and semi-indigenous palettes of plants, trees and ground cover will be used. Treated water and efficient water conservation irrigation system will ensure the protection of the surrounding environment with a minimal of changes. The infrastructure project and its challenges. 
Due to the extraordinary landscape, the project includes some challenges to be faced, which include the cost of delivery of pipes to 700 meters above sea level, cost and risk of handling, and installation of the networks in mountain, as well as the project time frame to be accomplished, which was only six months. After an intense study and careful comparison between the different pipe materials concrete, GRP, and the Cry HDPE pipe, the construction company, Hassan Alam Construction, a leading engineering, construction, and infrastructure company, founded in 1936, awarded Cra Messer for this project. The main reasons for this decision, not mentioning the unbeatable pipe quality compared with the other materials, were the price, performance, and quality ratio, as well as short delivery times. Cra Messer Egypt has been successfully producing Cra pipes for over a decade now and has recently installed its second Cra production machine, hence it was deemed most capable of handling a project of such magnitude. The project's scope and its delivery. In total, 12 kilometers of pipes for sewage and stormwater networks from 600 up to 2,500 millimeters were supplied, equipped with a 150 manhole, and its backdrop surround off a homogeneous and sustainable pipe system. As stipulated, the complete range of pipes, fittings, and manholes were delivered to the construction site within six months' time. All pipes and components were equipped with a typical yellow inside surface for an easy inspection and maintenance. According to the pipeline diameter, different kinds of manholes are installed in the project. For pipes in diameters up to DN on ID, 1,000 mm centric manholes are used where the pipeline axis passes by the manhole vertical axis. To balance the level difference of inlet and outlet, Crab Pipes Misser provided in cooperation with the customer different kind of solutions. For pipelines smaller than DN on ID 1200 mm, a backdrop is integrated. And in case of inlet outlet level difference more than 1 meter, a backdrop before manhole inlet is used. According to customers' drawings, special manholes are installed with different level and angle of inlet, outlet, and house connections with a depth of more than 6 meters. For the backdrop at pipelines bigger than DN on ID 1200 mm, the traditional backdrop would not be economically, so S curve backdrop is installed to maintain the pipeline level difference. During the construction phase, concrete manholes were used as well. In a direct installation comparison, the advantages of PE manholes became very clear very quickly. Especially remarkable is the shorter installation time and the significantly better surface quality. Additionally, there is a possibility of customer-oriented and tailored design. Networks testing The tightness test was also a challenge, considering the cost of getting water to site, 700 meters above sea level, not even mentioning the needed amount for pipelines up to 2,500 millimeters. To fulfill and facilitate the testing procedures, Cram Messer invested in pipe plugs to test the whole pipelines up to 2,200 millimeters, and with special Cram pipe joint tester up to 2,500 millimeters. Having successfully delivered the infrastructure system for the first phase of the Great Galala City construction, Cram Messer is now keenly awaiting the next phases to start and being part of this outstanding project. Galala Mountain Project is one of the largest Egyptian projects. It is constructed under the supervision of Authority of Engineering of the Armed Forces. The project is one of 253 important national projects in the Egyptian Governorate. It includes El Galala City, Galala Ain Sokna Resort that overlooks the Swiss Gulf, Galala University, and lastly Sokna Zafarana Road. The road is curved in the Galala Mountain, which makes the project an integrated and developed one. The Galala area adds a big value to the project as the area is geographically distinct and has a charming nature. The significant features of the project are a unique geographical location that allows building on it and establishing touristic resorts and roads. The project overlooks the Red Sea coast and Galala Plateau on which the project is to be done has a number of natural resources and most importantly, is marble and phosphate. Thanks to the unique features of the area and the plant project, 
It will offer a main road, a large lake that gathers the rain's water, an international Galala city, an international Galala city touristic resort, the first seawater distillation station in Egypt and the Middle East, first trade fertilizers factories, three waste water treatment stations, a marble factory, and an electricity station only for the resort and city. The Galala City project is a subsidiary of a more grandiose project, known as the Galala and Sokna project. There are 55 companies involved in the Galala and Sokna project, working under the supervision of the Authority of Engineering of the Armed Forces to bring this project to fruition. They include Military Engineering Corps, 40 companies in the field of roads, five companies in the fields of construction, industrial works, bridges, tunnels, gas stations, and eight companies working at Abu Stairs area in the touristic resort that overlooks Swiss Gulf. The city, which is characterized by charming beaches, has attracted many investments with a value of over $100 million because of its unique location and charming nature. It is divided into three sectors which are Sector A, Sector B, and Sector C. The city is also unique for its health and wellness resort on Galala Mountain. What makes it unique is the weather of Galala Mountain, which at the climax helps in healing and getting rid of the population effects due to the decrease in the temperatures from 10 to 12 degrees above sea level. Galala City is a very promising project that will attract many tourists and a good opportunity to live away from the noise of the city of Cairo. There you have it, the explorers. That was a look at Egypt's new city, Galala City. Thanks for watching this video. And if you did enjoy this video, do all to give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.